guys, how's it going? Welcome to this lesson. In this video I'm going to show you how to play what I just played, which is an intro uh, to one of my songs. Uh, now I've been told by a university lecturer that what I do is I play popular music uh, on a classical guitar. So general sort of material, uh, like pop music is anything from like metal, rock, pop, jazz, funk, country. The way I kind of see it is it's just stuff that isn't classical music um, and like all of my stuff is usually very like melancholic uh, and what I'm influenced by is like metal rap and like hard dance uh, so all my stuff is usually quite serious but this thing that I just played like this intro uh, it's probably one of the darkest things that I've like used so far um, and you can find dark and dissonant stuff in classical guitar pieces but it won't sound the same as this since as I say like what I do is uh, pretty much just general music on a classical guitar uh, so what I'm showing is a bit different uh, so if you want to learn it here it is uh, and I'm going to show you like the sort of like first section that I'm going to show you sorry I'll play it again Okay, so uh, to play that, you want to hold the uh, second fret D and G string, and you're going to play the A open. And then you're going to pick it again, and then you're going to pick the D and then the G. Okay, and then you're going to play the fourth fret G, uh, then fifth fret, then fourth fret. Okay. D again, uh, then the low E open, uh, and then third fret B string, and then fifth fret G. Okay. Um, and then uh, from there you're going to do fourth fret on the G, hammer onto the fifth fret, pull off to the fourth fret. Okay. Um, start I've said to keep like well put your finger on the second fret D and G and you keep them on the whole time and then any other notes that you've got to pick like the third fret on the B or the fifth and fourth fret uh, on the G uh, like you like use your other fingers to play those uh, so it's kind of like you keep holding this sort of power chord and then use your other fingers to play everything that's around it section goes like this so what you want to hold is um, the second fret on the D fourth fret on the G so again it's kind of like there that's like your anchor point and if you need to play anything else like you sort of um, use your fingers around it but anyway um, you play uh, the low E open then second fret D low E open again then fourth fret G string second fret again and then a uh, low E open a uh, D string again low E open okay okay just like that and then you're going to do uh, two low E opens quite quickly And then after that, it's a uh, second fret D, uh, then low E open again. Okay. Uh, then G fourth fret, and then D second fret. And then low E open, second fret D, low E open. Use your pinky to play uh, the fifth fret uh, on the G string and you pick it five times pretty quickly. And then uh, like your fingers 
could still be on like the fourth fret G, you pick that. Um, and then it's uh, second fret D again, and then low E open. Okay, so all together. Okay, so I'll play like the first section, then through to the second section. Final section for you, which is this. Okay. Uh, so what you're going to want to hold is a low E first fret, a third fret D string, second fret G. Okay, and you're going to play. Uh, sorry, you're going to want to play them pretty much in that order, so low E, uh, D string 3rd fret, no sorry, sorry, low E 1st fret, D string 3rd fret, 2nd um, fret G, uh, then B string open, and then 1st and then open. And then uh, you're going to play the 2nd fret G again, uh, then the low E 1st fret, okay? Take your pinky uh, off of the uh, D string third fret, and then you're going to move it to the um, third fret of um, the B string. Pull off to the first fret, pick the first fret, and then uh, take your finger off the B, and then open. Okay, so uh, all together. Should still be held is like the low E first fret because you never took that off, uh, and then um, the second fret on the G. Um, and what you're going to want to do is uh, first fret low E, and then second fret G, and then first fret low E again. Um, and then open B, uh, then G second fret. And slide up to the third fret, okay? Um, and then pick the third fret, um, and then you're gonna um, use like your third and pinky to hold the fifth fret uh, on the D and G string. Um, so it's like. Fourth fret uh, on the G, and then fifth fret on the G. And then it's uh, so four hammer on to the fifth, pull off to the four. From there, because you've just done the on the G, um, keep the finger on the fourth fret on the G, and uh, just pick the E, B, and G. So it's like open E, B, and then G fourth fret. You play those, and then you play it again, and then E and B. That's what it is. Um, so I'll play the whole thing. play the whole thing for you uh. Um, that 
is everything. Uh, I will also put a link to the song that this is from so you can also hear it then. Um, and actually I'll play it for you once more. If you have any questions let me know and uh, thank you very much for watching guys. Take care, happy practicing and God bless.